Hi. Okay. You're at the park. The wind is blowing softly through the trees. The grass whose damp blades glisten in the sunlight fold over themselves as you lay a soft checkered blanket on top of them. You can hear the faint roar of the children playing in the distance, and you see your significant other skipping up the hill with a grand smile. You sit close to one another, chuckling when your fingertips accidentally yet gently graze one another. You lean over, wiping the grease that's running down their cheek. You're relaxed, happy, and realize that this beautiful moment is all because of one thing. The crispy, delicious, French fries that your partner so graciously shared. So yes, to cut this dramatic intro short, I will be talking about French fries. But first, a little history lesson. Although Belgians are the world connoisseurs to this delectable treat, there's a long-standing debate of who discovered the fry. Despite their name, the French fry is not French. It can be traced back to Belgium, where they supposedly were being fried in the late 1600s. To give some background information, villagers would often eat small fried fish they caught in the river. But of course, the winter seasons of said rivers would freeze over. But the potato, the ultimate root plant, was their go-to, and they prepared it verbatim to how they did a fish, and thus the birth of one of my biggest guilty pleasures. But during this time, the Spanish controlled much of this area, and it was the Spanish who first introduced the potato, so of course we must give some credits to them. But technically originated in South America, where it was the Incas who first cultivated the potato, and then the Spanish who conquered the Incas, who then resided in Belgium. In any case, decades later, we're still giving credit to the wrong country, but hey, our president thinks climate change was perpetrated by the Chinese, so what do I know? Anyways, first, they just taste good, man. The bursting flavor, the crispy, slightly oily and rigid salty texture with a light fluffy interior, the gorgeous golden brown, the perfect hand food. It's honestly hard to hate them. And I don't know about you guys, but when my food is cut into little shapes, it just makes me so excited to eat it. Before I was vegan, my friend would always feed me these little dinosaur chicken nuggets, and I was so excited to decapitate that little thing. French fries, man, can be curly, can be straight, unlike myself. Waffle, crinkle, steak, skinny, shoestring can be cut into smiley faces if you go to BJ's, anything you want. Fries, I believe, are the ultimate comfort food because aside from its addicting, addicting taste, it just helps boost my mood. Never have I once been sad eating a fry, and that's because the elevated levels of salt in my body lower stress hormones and raise levels of oxytocin. Oxytocin is crucial to the process that allows love and social contact to reduce stress, but also in times when it felt like me against the world, I'd often turn to fries. It's the nostalgia I experience when eating them that takes me back to the moments when I was surrounded by love. When I eat skinny fries, I'm reminded of my secret drive through ventures with my dad to McDonald's. When I eat steak fries, I'm reminded of our Sunday lunches, Johnny Rocket's all-you-can-eat fry policy, and I swear I could hear the sounds of my grandmother's laughter with each bite. So when I feel lonely, I crave fries to give me a sense of comfort and security. The strong link between sense and emotional memory improves my mood and produces feelings of social connectedness, as well as evoking detailed emotional memories of my past. Lastly, they serve as a reminder for my family, for I believe food and family are intimately connected. I encourage you all to explore how food impacts your life. What do you fav why do you favor one food over another? Is it simply because of taste, or is it something more?